court. Mm -hmm. Silence in court. Not quite that much silence in court. But if you wish, my lad, no further questions for this witness. I would now like to call the chef of the Rudolf Hesse Go Go nightclub, Monsieur Henri Membership. Call Henri Membership, girl. Call Henri Membership! <laughs> you are Gaston Henri Membership, chef of international obscurity, and I believe it was said that you invented the American hamburger. Well... A charge which was eventually reduced to manslaughter. That is a complete and utter fabrication and distortion of the facts. A simple yes will suffice. Sorry, yes. Are you married? No, I have just been peeling onions. Now, in addition to an outrageously overdone accent, I gather you also have a personal knowledge of the accused, Mr. Honest Joe Wibley. Not only that, but I have a personal knowledge of... The accused, Mr. Ernest Joe Wibley. I gather that on September the 11th, 1939, he turned up at the nightclub seeking to pass papers onto his contact, Herr Heinrich von Scrofula. Correct. And in order to avoid suspicion, he was posing as one of the waiters in the restaurant. <laughs> Sacred blue. How am I supposed to break open these nuts? I've got a pair of crackers. Don't change the subject. <laughs> There's a man outside with a complaint. If it's Salmonella, tell him we've already got one. He says this egg's bad, and he wants to send it back where it came from. Well, I'll try, but I don't think the chicken's going to like it very much. <laughs> the top of the morning, we got to be cheapest. Good afternoon. <laughs> I want a cup of coffee, 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 I want a cup of coffee. You want six cups of coffee? Oh, I wish I had your way with words. <laughs> Killarney. Oh. Stupid Irish bug person. Now, I'd better take the piece out of the fridge. Ah, you silly old thing. <laughs> No, it's definitely dead. <laughs> Which reminds me, did you put that herring down for the cat? I think the herring got the better of him. Oh, no. <laughs> Will he never learn? Oh, wait. Oh, there's a big queue out here for the alphabet soup. Bring it in. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. was a cue for a song. <laughs> Doris, stop playing with that wishbone. Kiss me again. Can you prove that? I want a double cream for table ten. We have not got any double cream. All right, I'll have two singles for table five. Two single creams, Doris. Coming up. <laughs> What is it? I don't know until I've seen the doctor. <laughs> Are you the chef? No, I'm breaking in this hat for a mushroom. <laughs> what do you want? Have you seen my spotted dick? <laughs> I have, and it gave me no pleasure at all. <laughs> Here it is. Take it away at once. I can't eat it without custard on top. I thought you'd Did never you? ask. <laughs> Doris, Clytemnestra Warris, a former Miss Texas, the big ones, and at one time engaged by many leading members of the aristocracy for duties underneath the staircase. You mean below stairs? I know what I mean. And at the time of these events, you were employed in the kitchen of the aforementioned Rudolf Hess a go go nightclub. That's correct. And I believe you were subsequently approached by the head of British intelligence in the restaurant. Yes. He asked me to give him a pin to take his winkle out. Are you sure that wasn't all he wanted? No. He gave me 500 marks to search Mr. Wibley's room for a set of papers. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of luck. 
Did you carry out my instructions? Yes, I planned it all very carefully. After I got home from work last night, I went straight across to my room. You followed? Yes, but I managed to overtake him. <laughs> Obviously not a professional. And then you hung around till midnight when you searched Wibley's room? No. First, I disguised myself. What as? I don't know. It was too dark to see. <laughs> Foolish me. Then, when I got into his room, I took off all my clothes so he wouldn't see me. Because if he was a gentleman, he'd be looking the other way. Naturally. But did you find the documents? Yes, yes. I found one document on his dressing table. Was it typed or handwritten? I don't know. It was in French. Uh, let me see. Yeah. How to make a frankfurter. The key is in the stuffing. This is no use. This is a recipe for a sausage. At least I hope it is, otherwise we're all going to be in trouble. In that case, what would be done with the papers? Or am I too late? Is it possible that he's passed them to Von Scropular already? Why, sir? The lampposts of old violin Who wants to buy a night of sin That is where the good times all begin Underneath the lampposts of old violin Underneath the lampposts of old Berlin An old man of ninety asked me in I had to notify his next of kin Underneath the lampposts of old Berlin The lampposts of all the lampposts of all the lampposts in love of him, what am I to do? What am I to do? I just can't help it. <laughs> Come in. Your, uh, your order, sir. Not so fast. I have reason to believe that under that cover is a collection of documents relating to a fiendish plot to fix the Second World War. <laughs> or it could just be a red herring. All right. We shall see. Not the gag I was expecting. <laughs> so the documents were never found. Wibbly never took those documents to Berlin at all. He'd left them in a left luggage locker. All he had to do was to give Scrofula the key to the locker. But the note said the key is in the stuffing. Yes, the key to the locker containing the incriminating bundle of evidence was contained inside the German sausage that Wibbly served to Scrofula. That's his maybe. But the sausage was never retrieved. I have no choice but to declare this case null and void. Court will rise. Lift up your gown. What for? I said lift up your gown. You are Heinrich von Scrofula. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> Next Thursday, the Steam Video Company is at the later time of 9 o'clock.
coming next week from the golden age of steam video I fried to death in my pajamas